Pim is from Thailand. It is an online accounting software tool for small and medium-sized enterprise. Okay, let's welcome Pim from Peak. Hi. Hi, Hi. Pim. Hi. Sorry, I have to bring you up first. No problem. Can you share your screen with us? All right. Can I start now? Yeah, your time starts now. All right. Hi, my name is Ping. I'm from Peak. So Peak is an online accounting platform that helps edit SME understand the finance and efficiently prepare tax and accounting compliance with highly automated systems. And here is the problem for SME. Some small business stay small. The lack of proper accounting is take so much of the time to do just basic accounting, not to mention right major accounting. So the lack of information making and have limited access to finance. So to solve those problems, we provide an easy and ultimate online accounting software, quality and efficient accounting service, and access to finance. Let's see the first solution, the software. So we built Peak to be highly automated online accounting software. And here are some features that help you do business more efficiently. So if you're doing business in Thailand, you can just uh, you don't have to fill in uh, name and address of your contact uh, of your business contact. You can just fill in tag ID and we'll fill it up automatically. That saves a lot of time. And you can create invoice with QR payment. So when you send invoice to your customer and they pay it, it will record the payment automatically. We're the first in Thailand to offer the bank reconcile systems and we send to you a weekly and monthly reports of your business pertinent. You can also use Peak to prepare Thai tax forms, and we help you prepare the government format uh, financial report that you need to submit to the government. And Peak is the most connected accounting software in Thailand. Uh, in this image, there's the partners and systems that we are connecting with. Mostly, they are in e-commerce. And uh, that the first part, the software. The next one is the service. So at Peak, we have over 170 accounting firm partners across Thailand that make us the online accounting software with the most accounting firm partner here in Thailand. And this is a partner event last year. And the last one is access to finance. Uh, this one is uh, pretty early for us. We, we just uh, started out uh, not long ago. We partner with some banks and fintech company to help our customer get some finance uh, easier. We estimate the market size in Thailand to be around 25 billion, but or roughly around like 800 million US dollar for accounting software and service. Uh, not a big market yet, but there is another a huge opportunity in SME finance that we plan to get into in the future. Uh, we are not alone in the market. It is, is uh, some competitors, but to give you some summary, we target more on a registered official business, more mature business, and we have the most comprehensive solution, and we have the most connected system, and we have the most partner here in Thailand. And this is our business. There's mainly two, three parts in our business. There's software business, and accounting service, and API integrations. Uh, financing uh, service will, will come in the future that we plan to be a next revenue stream when we get into financing uh, business. Uh, here are some of our Customer currently, we have around like four to five uh, business that are using Peak each month. We process around two hundred thirty uh, thousand transactions, value around like eight billion baht or around two hundred seventy million. Around one third of that uh, transactions are invoice, so there are huge opportunity in invoice financing. Uh, around forty percent of our customer are paying customers and. Uh, last quarter, we make a uh, break event and have our cash flow positive. Hopefully, we can give it up this for next quarter. And my name is Kim, and I'm founder and CEO at Peak. My experience is in accounting. I uh, used to work in a banks and start my own accounting firms, and I used to be an accounting uh, lecturer in a university. And this is my team. My CFO comes from a finance and banking background. My CTO from our tech companies, head of credit service from Private House, and head of support also have our experience in accounting. 
We are raising seven hundred thousands, and we are looking for investors who have experience in software as service, B two B, and SME finance. Thank you. Thank you, Ping. Great presentation. Great, great presentation. For the questions, I think we can start with Robert. Yeah. Hi. Nice to see you again. Um, I I really am impressed with your um, your Thank traction. You. Uh, just talk me through your 4,500 customers. How many of them yes. are on the premium 3,000 uh, baht a month product? Uh, for the accounting service, right? This one? Yeah. Oh, I, do, do you see the mouse? Okay. okay so, so this so one, you have, currently we have around like 100 customers who are using accounting service. Mostly they are like software customers, they're using the software. Okay. and. The accounting service and the software as a service is priced exactly the same way, regardless of the size of the business that you're providing the services to? Uh, the software is uh, fixed. I mean, there is some fee, uh, uh, package that you can use. Like, we have like three free, basic, and pro features, and the price difference. But for the accounting service, it it's depend on on number of transactions that the business has. Okay, and and presumably your relationship with accounting firms is to use them as resellers of the SaaS product because they're they're doing the accounting work for their customers already. Yes, that is. Okay. But it's it's also the way. For example, when customer using P, we also recommend our partner as our like uh, service provider to 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 their like bookkeeping and accounting things. So then they get customer from us too. Yeah, but I, I guess my most direct question is, um, as a pure licensing business providing the accounting services and the software as a service services, this isn't really particularly interesting. Uh, it's the financial services part that really gets this thing to be a big business, right? Yes. Have you started that yet? Yeah, we do start it. We... Actually, there's some deal have been done already. We process around like one, two deals, and the value is around like thirty thousand dollars or one million baht for loan to our customer. I'll, I'll let some other people answer some ask some questions, but I like what you're doing, and I'd like to find out more about what your plans are with that financial service product. You're welcome. Please keep, keep in touch. Actually, I could just add on to that because uh, my question was going to be that too. And hi, P. Hi, P. I'm seeing you many times. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Last time I Great saw you. see you again. <laughs> hey, so um, question. So, yeah, I mean, last time I saw some new feature updates. So, congratulations. Well, yeah. You know, um, but yeah, I'm very interested on this SME finance thing. So, like, what are your plans for that? When, I mean, last time we talked, which was a year ago, that was already in process. And and, and where are you now? Like, and Actually, we explore this opportunity with a lot of, like, banks and finance uh, fintech companies. And it's not very easy, I would say. There's a lot of, I mean, when, we do, when you put into practice, there are a lot of issues about how reliable the data is because this all like customer input it in our system so we need to to make sure that the data is correct and some way we do that we can help uh, ensure the correct of the information using like bank reconcile system or verify by our like accounting firm partners but we're still in the process of like making uh, the models with our partners to to make this information in peak more reliable for, for them to be able to provide finance. So walk, walk me through this like uh, 1 million baht thing, right? The loan that you gave. So are you mm -hmm. like providing your value that you have a lot of SMEs on your platform and you market them and it's just a lead gen? Or are you doing credit scoring? Or well, what are you doing here? Currently, it's a lead generation, so there is a, a menu in our software that customer can apply for loan. But currently, what we're working with our partner is that we 
we collect data from our customers and send it to, to them. Well, with consent, of course. So we will like try to make the process of finance uh, for them to getting finance uh, quicker. Okay, and the seven hundred thousand you are raising now. What are you using it for? Are uh, we using for continue developing our software and also to expand to uh, to expand the business? I, I mean. Uh, first one is to continue developing. The other one is that to expand our partnership network because we think that accounting firms would be a very important uh, partners for us to expand into to to not only just expand the number of customers but also help to validate data in P because they are accountants they can like word it, it. So so mainly two things: continue developing and expand our partner base. Okay, thank you, Ping. Thank you. Thank you.